What's up, YouTube? Good morning. Uh, Nicole Spence here, and I've got Garrett and Erica Lynn on the boat today. We are out here in Tampa, Florida with Big Guns, Big Team, Big Guns, Big Fish. <laughs> Say what? So we are out here. I think we're going to go uh, try to get some snook, uh, what, some redfish, maybe some sheephead. What else were we? Maybe a tarpon? Not over here right now. Not. Okay, they're not over here. Hey, hey, maybe, maybe. I like that. So, um, yeah, stay tuned guys. Hopefully we catch something. So we are gonna, well, we were going to be using crabs for uh, bait today, but I got a little story to tell you, or I'm gonna let Garrett, I'm gonna let Garrett have the floor. <laughs> I, uh, I got a bunch of fiddler crabs earlier this week and I was driving home with them in my truck and they spilled and ran everywhere. <laughs> so I spent the following two days digging them out of my dash underneath my seats just for them all to die anyway. So now we have no fiddler crabs. And tell me about how they were like crawling up your leg and then... Oh yeah, I was driving and they were just crawling up my jeans. Didn't even know what to do. And you didn't realize, you know, so they had to climb through the dash to get to you, right? So they were all inside of his truck. In the dash, crawling out of like the air vents and all over the place. And they can feel the vibration. So it's not like they could go and pick the crabs out. They had to wait. I for the crabs. Had to wait for the crabs to come out. So with like the every car couple off. hours, they I'd would go out, out there, there. Snatch a few out of the dash, <laughs> and then the other one. And Erica, <laughs> she's like, they're dying when I was hearing this story. It was so funny. So we had to call her at work and tell her this story. Isn't that hilarious? Man, like, this is imagine? a brand new truck. It's only got ten thousand miles. <laughs> What happened? So they got all of them, thank God. But uh, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys. I thought it was hilarious when she texted me and said crabs are crawling all over his brand new truck. I'm like, what? <laughs> all right, so since we're not using the crabs because of all that, Erica, tell us what we're gonna be using we're today. We're using some greenbacks, hopefully. So we're using some chum, tossing it out there, getting them all rounded up, and we're gonna go throw some cast nets and hopefully get a bunch. All That's right. what we're hopefully going to be using today for bait. Awesome, wow. awesome. Yeah. Stay tuned. That stuff. Wow, that is a big part. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't bother with the ones with the stripes. My first snook out here in Tampa, Florida. Woo! We got geared on the net, sorry about that. How <laughs> it came out of there. Wow, look at that. What a beauty. That is awesome. Nice one. Wow. Pulling them out from docks is it's never easy. It's been a easy. while. I haven't caught a snook since the last time I fished with these guys. Probably, what, a year and a half ago? I'm in town, so I figured I'd come and hang out. Uh -huh. to, yeah. Grab tight. This guy. Wow. Look at it, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. Good job. Nice fish. I'm going to give him a little kiss for good luck and uh, do a safe release. It's really cool. These guys actually like to suck on your thumb. You see this? He sucks on your thumb. And you can just like revive them and they go back when he's ready. <laughs> he's not ready yet. <laughs> Come on. Do you want to get a picture with them? Should I? It's up to you. <laughs> Woo! Erica's hooked up! Whoa. What you got, girl? Nice little snook over there. Got the motor. Good job. Yes! Look at this guy. Woo! Oh, oh. A little oh. slippity-roo. <laughs> Killing it, girl. That's a nice fish, baby. That is a nice fish. All right, guys, we're out here in Tampa, Florida, Whoa. and Erica Lynn just hooked up to this nice snook. Check it out. Wow. Nice what a beauty. Good job, Let's girl. See Killing it. Up in front of us, Nicole. 
Switch. You guys switch spots and throw it. Yeah, there you go. Like out here? Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to have Erica um, show us how to tie this knot. So Jack just uh, broke us off. So we're going to retie. We got our leader and our line. We're going to do double uni knot. So loop that around. We're going to do five loops with my line. I miscounted, so we're, let's just say one more. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> one right there, and then we're going to use um, two with our leader. So I'll loop that around. One and two. Tie that tight. Let me do it this way. See, my knot there, knot there. Give it a little spit. <laughs> Pull it together, and we got our uni knot. Now I'm going to trim off the uh, excess line here. My Don Mar pliers. And then we're gonna do a circle, um, circle hook, circle knot, a loop knot for our top water. Perfect. Let's loop that around. Oops. So there's a loop on there now, so it gives a little more, uh, a little more play and freedom in the line. So I cut off that excess. As I'm like shaking. There you go. That jack's got me all jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we got our line tied. We're ready to go fishing. All right, let's go, girl. Woohoo! Oh, Keep going real, Good real job. straight. Stop jigging and just reel. You get him? Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. It's a jack. Stop reeling for a second. Get it, girl. Jacks are such fighters. You see them pushing their weight. Yeah. Get it, girl. Check it out. <laughs> Feisty little guy. So trolling motor. Yeah, that's a fat one. We're gonna go catch some more of those. <laughs> they fight so hard. They really do. Like every time you get to the boat, they're like, "Nope, taking yep. off." <laughs> Buddy. No, it was in his mouth. The, t the first two hooks may have came out already. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Job, girl. Oh. Killing it. Come on, Mr. Snooky.
Thank you.